right, so as you can see, James has been tearing stuff up today. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good. It's really hot. in this mug um so he's just been tearing down the ceiling like piece by piece over the past like week <laughs> just whenever he feels motivated coming out here and ripping it down because right now you're just doing it just pretty much with pliers and some snips and just cutting it piece by piece apart right yeah so he's been doing that which has resulted in this and I have been doing all the reflecting, ref, bleh, reflective stuff, which we're just using this heat gun and this, what do you call it, scraper. And so I hold the heat gun on it and scrape it. We have some footage of that that'll show. Um, but yeah, it's been real hot out, but we're making progress slowly. <laughs> checking in on the progress of pulling down the ceiling um it's pretty dang difficult <laughs> so we have lots of video of us trying to rip it down with just like wire cutters and what was the other thing we used wire cutters and for the ceiling pliers and, and pliers <laughs> Lots of brute force. Lots of brute force. Like, James really hulked it out. I was pretty impressed. But we finally um, went up to Sutherland's, and, which is a store in Kansas City. I don't know if they have them other. Do they have Sutherland's other places? I think so. Oh. I don't know where. Anyway, it's a hardware store. I don't know why that's relevant or why I'm talking about it. But, um, and we got this. <laughs> which is a drill bit a drill bit that is made of titanium and it's made things a little bit easier a little bit not a lot of bit <laughs> so we might be looking for other um potential options i mean it looks pretty good right now the ceiling let's see if i can get it Ooh, see Ooh. it looks pretty good it's just i don't know it's 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 hard and we need to find something a little easier because James is about to completely injure all of his fingers at this point. <laughs> it's like he doesn't, it's like he doesn't realize, I like to say, it's like he didn't grow fingers until he was like in the past couple years because he smashes his fingers so much. I'm like, haven't you lived your whole life with fingers? Don't you know they're, they're there? I just discovered them. James <laughs> just discovered them. So, yeah, we're going to work on that more today, and uh, probably start the process of scrubbing off the letters. Yep. So, sweet. Well, that'll do it. Wow. See you later, rivet. Hmm? How much do you think this is actually helping? Is what helping? With the new technique you're using to get the rivets out. Terribly, but it's doing something. I've made some progress. Gotcha. This is really hot. It's really hot. It's like 98 degrees today, yeah. and it has been for the past few days. Yeah. And then it like just, you walk in this bus and it's immediately your swamp. Yeah. 
if this uh, insulation was doing anything, so now that's torn out, so that's even worse. Yeah, maybe didn't do this in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> so you can learn from our mistakes. So yeah, I don't remember buying this drill. But we found it, and that's what's important. But we have lived at this house, or at least I have for like seven years, and uh, I've lived with a lot of different people, so there's a lot of weird, random stuff everywhere. Not that a drill's random, but you go into our basement, it's like a treasure trove down there of junk. <laughs> treasure trove. <It's> <laughs> treasure trove. Of <laughs> junk. All right, so we're gonna use this little guy. We got him off Amazon. What's his name? Uh, I'm not sure. They have a bunch of different kinds of rubber wheels like this. I got this one. It says it has these. I don't know. But anyway, it's this rubber thing <laughs> that you attach to a drill. And what kind of drill is that? So people know? Because so it doesn't fit on a normal drill. No, this is just Is this normal a normal drill? drill? Yeah. Okay. So that was the problem. I thought that it had a hex shank that would fit the impact. But it didn't driver that I have. But then we found this magical drill that was in the garage. That has magic so. powers and it fits it. Like the sister of the traveling pants. But this is <laughs> stupid. I'm stopping talking. But so we use it and it scrapes off this stuff. So you want to do the little example of that? Oops. <laughs> it was so, like it flew off so comically. It was like, lol. <laughs> so after we use the, the eraser wheel on the letters, then we're just using some goof off, uh, pouring some. Working a goof off at your local hardware store, probably. Probably. <laughs> and it seems to take off most of the rest of the. So we're getting nice and clean because we're going to paint this buddy soon and I'm yeah. pretty excited about painting it. <laughs> got some ideas, James. I got some ideas. Good. So look at that. Nice. And it works really well on the whole decal where it's still there where these were already taken off so it's been really easy but it even worked, the wheel worked on that. Yeah. So awesome stuff. We got a lot more to do. <laughs> Process that will every once in a while I get a big trip. Feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> 